welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so today I'm doing 31 days of tarot and that's how I started my tarot tube videos last year. So I'm excited to participate again. This is hosted by Ethany um, and I will list or I will link the list of prompts below so that you can participate um, and let me know if you're participating so I can go see your videos or your Instagram posts. Um, okay, so the day one question is, um, sorry, I have it on my phone and I'm shooting on my phone. It's a reading for the energy and the major lesson of last year. So I have with me the Sacred Bee Tarot. I will be doing the reading with that. And let's begin. Okay. So the energy is three of wands and this deck has keywords, virtue, and that's an interesting keyword for three of wands. I'm wondering if that's a thoth keyword and the major lesson is the sun. I, I don't know, like maybe finding the sun in darkness. <laughs> um, the sun is actually my card of the year this year. Last year it was the hermit, but actually it was technically the moon and I, um, I added it up too much. Like, you know, when you do the birth year or sorry, the card of the year, you add the birthday, um, the day, month and year together. And then you're supposed to stop adding when you get to a number that's below 22 and I got 19 or no, I got 18 and then I kept adding those and then I got nine. Technically last year was a moon year for me though. Um, anyways, this year is a sun year. Um, and that was the lesson of last year. So if I was to take the lessons I learned, um, from last year in terms of, I don't know, I just posted on Instagram about how I really learned about creativity. Um, and what fuels my creativity. You know what? That was the major lesson. I went, we went on a, my partner and I went on a road trip. We went out into the wild. We got a van, like an old beat up van. <laughs> what is it called? It's a, it's not an Astro van. It's a safari, I think. And, um, yeah, we just put a mattress in it and we made a little kitchen that you could put like in a, in a tub and we hit the road and went camping for nearly two months. <laughs> and that really filled my cup because when I got home, I was just so creative. So I, I would say like that road trip time, like just kind of that free wandering time um, where a lot of processing happened too. So it's like kind of like we took ourselves out of the cage of the home and we were social distancing, by the way. Um, but we took our ourselves out of the cage of the home and it kind of like, I don't know, when you go into a new environment, it frees you. And a lot of sun time, a lot of time in the sun. So that was the major lesson, but three of wands. For me, the three of wands usually means, this is the energy card, usually means like you've put energy out there and it's already kind of coming back. Um, I don't know, cause like I started certain things at the top of the year that actually didn't come full circle. So, and I, I kind of measure my years in creative projects. <laughs> That's like, this is so funny. When I was younger, I would measure, um, like I would have major points in my life that I would go by like people I was dating. <laughs> But that's like, those were like major points that I remembered. So like, I would remember like, oh, I was dating that person when I was finishing up that program at that school or, um, you know what I'm saying? But now I measure it, like not measure, but I just like remember major points in my life through the creative projects I do. It's kind of like, like they're a photo album of a, a road trip. And like, so you remember this photo is from that and they're, they're like little time signatures and they carry the energy of that moment. Um, so the energy of the year was three of wands. 
things coming kind of like waiting for things to come full circle after having put the energy out there. You know what? I had started out the year working on a tarot deck or an oracle deck and that kind of fell apart. <laughs> but then I ended up starting after the road trip a new tarot deck, an actual tarot deck, and one that felt more organic and directly from right there in my heart. <laughs> so yeah, I think I put the energy out and the momentum out there and then it came full circle after the road trip and after I had all that creative fuel to, to hone in on it. Yeah, anyways, so my card was energy. The energy was three of wands and my lesson was the sun, which is also my 2021 part of the year. Um, okay. Sending you guys so much love and I will see you in the next video. Bye.